Well, how about Comet Ison? Well, you see that? Well, it had its close encounter with the sun. The little ball of ice and rock skirted around the sun yesterday. The question everybody has been asking today, did it survive the heat? With us now is Kelly Beatty, senior contributor, contributor editor for Sky and Telescope magazine. And Kelly, good morning. We're so happy to have you with us because, uh, you know, I'm one. I, I'm a stargazer myself, and I want to know. It's so fascinating. Going into the sun, Eisen was looking a little brighter, and then it, that was a good sign. But what are we seeing now? You know, the comet has made it, at least some pieces of it have made it through this close brush with the sun. I guess it's the little comet that could. <laughs> Uh, people are calling it all kinds of things, a comet ghost, a zombie comet. Uh, what we see in the images from spacecraft this morning, because it's not visible from Earth, is at least a one or two sizable chunks. Uh, we need this comet to actually get a little bit farther away from the sun to actually understand better what's going on. Okay, so we have some ideas of what may have happened. Can I, can I get you to give us an idea of what we may be seeing over the next couple of weeks? Because we were kind of hoping if it survived the, the turn around the sun that we might get another view at it. Sure. If the comet has remained at least partially intact, then it's going to continue to boil and froth away with these icy bodies. That's what they do. And so that will give it a tail that we should be able to see in the morning sky uh, the first week of December, this will be low in the east before dawn, 30 minutes to a half an hour to an hour before the sun rises. Uh, that should be if the comet holds together. Now, it's not out of the woods yet. It could still break apart and just dissipate. Well, uh, Kelly, I like what you called it, the little comet that could. And we're going to learn so much from it. So exciting. Thank you so much for being with us with Sky and Telescope Magazine. We appreciate your insight. And, and uh, Reynolds, you know, I'm, I'm a sky gazer. I have a telescope, and I can't wait to catch this on the, the next way around, hopefully, if it stays together.